Here's how to wash your bike in five minutes. No tools required, just things that you've got lying around in your house. Like washing up liquid. Brush. Doesn't have to be a fancy one like this. You can use a dustpan and brush as long as it's soft. A rag. Could be an old t-shirt, old piece of towel, just a cut up soft thing. Fill up a bucket with water and some washing up liquid. There are salts in washing up liquid, but not the salts that are gonna corrode your bike parts. Other brands are available. Grab a soft brush. The one we're using here is from Park Tool, which is bike specific, but a soft dustpan and brush, brush, is absolutely fine. Just make sure it's soft so you don't scratch your paint on your bike. Jimmy. Hello. Likes to use paint brushes because they're super soft and you can get in between all the bits, but I, I prefer a brush like this. This is some pretty elite brush chat. Yeah, I spend some time on like brush forums. Do you ever go on brush forums? Brush Reddit. Yeah, exactly. Brush talk. It's a subreddit. Apply soapy water all over your bike like this. Start at the top so the water runs down. Probably take your lights off as well. These are waterproof, but not all lights are. I prefer to use a bucket and a brush to get the water onto the bike because it's less wasteful. You can just chuck all the water onto the bike if you don't mind using up a little bit more water and washing up liquid. The idea here is to get the bike completely covered in soapy water and then letting the degreaser inside the washing up liquid work for a couple of minutes. Two very boring minutes later. Now with a loaded brush, do these parts in order. Frame. Try not to miss all the hard places to reach, like in between your rear wheel and seat stay. Use a bit of elbow grease, then move on to the wheels, lift one up at a time and spin them. Use this motion to get all the way around and clean both the wheel surface and the tire. Then lastly, move on to the drivetrain. Leave this till last because it might be greasy. You don't want to spread grease from the drivetrain all over the rest of your nice clean bike. If you scrub the cassette like this, let it spin underneath the brush, spin your cranks round and scrub your derailleur cage so the jockey wheels spin. Don't don't forget behind the chain rings as well because loads of dirt picks up there. If you put your chain on the biggest chain ring that will make it easy to access and as you spin the cranks you can clean your chain too. You can really use some elbow grease here, you're not going to scratch anything up, go crazy on the chain if you want to make sure it's nice and shiny. If you are only going to clean one part of your bike I recommend it would be the drivetrain because this is where all of the moving parts that wear out are located. Yeah the frame will be nice and shiny but don't spend too long on that where this is the bit that's going to save you money if you look after it. Get rid of all the dirty, soapy water that you've got and replenish it with some nice, fresh, non-soapy water to rinse down the bike. Dry your drivetrain with a bit of old t-shirt or towel. Even though you've worked hard getting it clean, you're still going to end up with loads of black grease coming off. So this is an important step to get your drivetrain really shiny and nice. Spin your cranks around to get better access to the sides of your jockey wheels down here. You can avoid loads of dirt from building up if you just stay on top of this when you do your short clean. Once fully dry, apply chain lube of your choice and let it sink in for a few hours. Before you ride again, wipe off all the excess lube from your chain so it doesn't pick up dirt. The aim of chain lube is to penetrate the links of your chain, not coat the outside. When you wipe off the excess, this will also help remove a last layer of dirt as well. Bonus tips. If you want to spend some money, purpose-made bike degreaser is really good. You can basically spray it on a chain and the black grease will just come off. But it is expensive compared to this method. It saves you using some elbow grease, but you do have to be careful where you put it because it will strip grease out of your bearings as well. You also want to avoid using products like GT85 and WD40 on your disc brakes. If you have disc brakes on your bike, the only thing you should use to clean them is isopropyl alcohol or purpose-made disc brake cleaner. You spray it on and it just evaporates off along with taking loads of dirt off too. The hack here is to use products made for cars because they tend to be a lot cheaper than the bike alternatives. I personally use a microfiber cloth to dry down the frame because it gets any of the last bits of dirt off and your bike's just then nice and clean to go in your house and you're not going to drip everywhere. It doesn't have to be a microfiber cloth, but something that's really absorbent. A towel perhaps? Kitchen roll, but it's wasteful, don't use a kitchen roll. Microfiber cloth, use one. We haven't used a work stand, but if you have got one or one's available to you, it does make it easier, quicker, and you don't have to bend over all over the place. Not essential, but useful. Lots of people ask how often you should clean your bike. If it's been raining, every single time. If it's dry, every few. Ideally every ride, but you know, it's not particularly practical. So every couple of rides in the summer or every single time you get caught in the rain. You can use a jet wash, but maybe don't. The risk with jet washes is that you push things into your bearings that shouldn't be there and then you knacker them. If you're confident removing your rear wheel, you can floss your cassette. 
push the wheel up against something hard, like a wall, make a triangle with your knees, and then floss. <laughs> this works so well. Look how much black comes off. Years of practice though, I do make this look easy. That's your five minute bike clean. We're gonna be covering a 10 minute, no we're not. We're gonna be probably covering a half an hour bike clean, more thorough in videos to come. So please subscribe to the channel to watch that.